Hello guys, my name is Amit and I am security analyst in uh, Cross Cyber Security. Okay, so today we're gonna discuss about uh, reverse engineering. Okay, so first of all, we need to uh, get familiar what is uh, reverse engineering. Okay, so let me give you some short of introduction of uh, reverse engineering. Okay, uh, in computing, reverse engineering is uh, the process of understanding how things work and uh, reusing the information to do something. This is uh, like applicable even to Android's app or even any software. Okay, and uh, you might reverse engineering and in any software for many reasons like. Uh, uh, read another code, uh, find vulnerability in the code, uh, search for sensitive data, okay? And we also can perform the malware analysis also in this and we can modify the functionality and behavior of the software. Okay, so basically I'm gonna showing off some various tools that can be used to do reverse engineering, okay? I hope I will give you enough knowledge that, that why we need reverse engineering and why it's so important and effective, okay? So we're gonna discuss this in details and uh, when you enroll for certification we're gonna discuss this in more depth uh, and we're gonna understand some more critical and complex things so far we uh, now know uh, what is reverse engineering okay so basically now we're gonna discuss why do we need and after that we're gonna discuss where it use actually and we're gonna discuss about tools and scope and task okay okay what is reverse engineering okay basically reverse engineering also called back engineering okay back engineering that we need to do some kind of the like you can say operation okay we need to find out what functionality of that software what is actually doing inside the system so the process of extracting knowledge that i just uh, uh, told you like uh, we need to do operation and we need to understand what it doing actually inside the system okay or uh, design information from anything man-made and reproducing it's based on the extract information okay so it is the process of analyze a software or system to ac extract design and its implementation information or uh, its behavior okay so this is all about reverse engineering in short we can say the reverse engineering basically we doing the operation on the given code or in or the given software how it uh, work inside the system uh, in a low level uh, language okay and next we have why we need it okay uh, there is a very uh, common things uh, we also gonna discuss this in depth why we need uh, there are a lot of uh, things we can use for recovery for loss information providing proper system documentation assisting the maintenance facility software use and discovering unexpected files or maybe malware we can say that or flaws or faults okay we also can use uh, this reverse engineering for dark side or bright side it's all depend on you it's or your it's, it's gonna be your decision actually so basically where it is used in software design reverse engineering enable the developer or programmer to add new features okay to the existing software with or without knowing the source code okay so reverse engineering is also very uh, beneficial in software testing we can do the black box testing also we can do the white box testing i hope you guys are familiar about the black box testing and the white box testing okay the third category where reverse engineering is widely used in a software security that i just told you that's your decision that rather you choose for dark or bright okay we're going to discuss uh, reverse engineering tools okay we have system monitoring tools dissembler debuggers and we have a decompiler and a hex editor each tools shows up and give us a different knowledge about the code or even uh, for given software okay so uh, for example system monitoring tells us it have network activities okay the assembler shows uh, uh, low level codes like uh, assembly codes or binary codes and debuggers uh, uh, give us uh, some kind of uh, more advantage to set breakpoints in uh, stack memories okay so we can execute and stop where actually we want to the software okay so we have uh, now a decompiler okay same as uh, 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 
debugger attempt to produce high level code into the low level codes or binary codes okay hex editor basically is so those are uh, hexadecimal codes or ascii tables okay so these tools actually we're gonna use uh, to do uh, reverse engineering okay the question is scope okay so benefits we're gonna talk about benefits of reverse engineering in software development where it we basically use reverse engineering okay so understanding the existing design that mean uh, that you can copy any kind of software or code to understand by understand its functionality behavior so we can actually copy its uh, functionality to build new uh, code or software not the new but the similar uh, fun with the similar functionality okay so next we have save time and cost by reuse the design so, yeah as i said we can perform reverse engineering on existing code and we can gain its uh, functionality uh, purpose we can reuse its uh, functionality to make another kind of software with with the same functionality okay so many industry actually uh, there are many industry uh, required the reverse engineering uh, that uh, th there are a bunch of actually uh, you can see the paypal casper sky autodeck oracle even google some big giants like okay uh, google and also some uh, uh, state-based company also need the reverse engineering for uh, secure their functionality for the software or existing code okay so uh, this is why basically reverse engineering come I'm gonna uh, basically show you some uh, uh, little challenge about uh, reverse engineering how we can gain the access in favor of the cyber securities okay and uh, we will discuss in more depth about uh, how to understand its functionality and behavior how we can recreate or manipulate its uh, behavior any kind of code behavior or we can say any kind of software behavior okay